Okay, so this is my first attempt at doing a video. <laughs> I've never done one. Um, I have um, a lot of um, holiday agendas, like a lot, and I'm a big fan of the PMs. Um, and um, I decided to venture out and try something different. Um, and what I decided to get was a Chanel. It is the exact, or at least very similar size. Maybe it's a tiny bit, um, maybe not quite as tall, but within millimeters. Um, and it's very similar. Um, and I have not been able to find a single, and by the way, this agenda is pre-loved and in amazing condition. It even came with um, the little authenticity card, which is just super cool. Um, has a little stampy stamp and uh, these kinds of pockets back here. One big one back here and then two up front. Um, a pen loop that actually could fit a uh, smaller pen, unlike the LV one. <laughs> um, and uh, and the rings, believe it or not, are actually bigger than your um, than your standard LV ones. I'm trying to find real quick. There. Um, so these would be your standard LV ones that come with the PM agenda. And as you can see, they are um, quite a bit smaller. Ugh, you really can't see, can you? <laughs> um, a little bit. So they are, I think these are like 10 millimeter. So they are like very, very, very small. Um, the, uh, the alternative, is of course the Krauss Gilio rings that are 16s and they are um, a decent amount bigger than these. So if you look at them in, um, in order, you can kind of see the size difference. So the, the Chanel ones are actually relatively um, all right. I was able to fit everything that fit onto my 16 millimeter in here. Um, but it feels tight, you know, it's a little hard to move, but it is pretty stuffed. My agenda is um, generally pretty stuffed, which you will see later. So um, I am going to, as scared as I am, attempt, I've replaced all the rings um, and all of my LVs, but it is much, much easier to do it in an LV with just a little tab. Um, and these are quite a bit different. So um, I'm going to attempt it and hope uh, that I don't mess it up. Now, I saw a tutorial that said to have a plastic card, a flathead screwdriver, some pliers. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, attempt to, um, to see if I can figure it out supposed to get under there and kind of lift, um, lift up and they are supposed to snap off which appears to be happening. I wish the screwdriver was a little bit smaller so I don't mess anything up. And maybe that's what I need. A smaller one. That one might be too big for all my purposes. might be too small for my purposes but we're gonna try it and the card I think is just intended to not mess up the leather or whatever it is that you're um, trying to protect you don't want to poke Ugh. okay it's starting to come up a little bit I wish I had somebody else to do this for me. 
um, or at least I wish I had a video that would tell me um, how to do it on these specifically. But there is no such thing, which is why I am doing this. So you can kind of see starting to lift up right there. And that is what we're going for here. No, that is what we're going for. Um, and we just have to do it all the way across this whole situation without ruining a beautiful Chanel agenda. <laughs> okay, here it comes. It seems to be coming. this helps somebody <laughs> oh my gosh okay so as you can see we have lifted this we're going to take this out Ooh, that is very scary very scary okay um so my video stopped and i got a little bit ahead of myself um, without turning it back on because I just got nervous. But essentially, what I had to do was um, after I took this top part off with this little screwdriver, popped it up, took it off, you then open up the rings and these little guys wiggle right out of the little holes on both ends. Okay, so you get those out. And then the hard part was you open these rings up and then you have to pull them apart. It's kind of scary, but you got to pull kind of hard. And with these little ones, it was really hard. So I had to get a sweatshirt to put around my fingers because I got my fingers all torn up because they're bitey. Um, but it's kind of scary, but they just pop right out like this. Okay, so now you have two pieces of this, okay? Then you're left with this guy. So this bar in here, and these little tabs. So what you're gonna do is lift up slightly on this tab right here. You can see that, okay? And then this should slide right out, supposedly. Oh, there it goes. So now this is also out. I'm gonna potentially use this to put it back together based on this other video tutorial that's not for Chanel, but I'm gonna see if I can figure it out. So now you are left with these little silver tabby deals. Okay. Um, and then here are my Giulio Kraus rings. Uh, if I can get that to focus, you can't really see that, but uh, they're nice and big and they're gonna go somewhere in here i don't know exactly where or how but i am going to figure it out hopefully Let me pop this. all right so i paused it there because i had a little moment of not knowing what to do and the reason is um, that was more complicated than I thought it would be. Um, it would have been really great to have had a video to follow. So I wanted to make sure I wrap this up. Um, despite the fact that I don't really have anything to show you um, per se. <laughs> so um, I was able to complete the project. I did get the um, Jellio Cross rings in here into the um, Chanel agenda. And I will do a quick flip through when I'm done. Um, but ultimately... The problem was that the back plate of the Chanel agenda um, did not line up the same way as the back plate of the Julio rings did. Um, so basically this tab and this piece wouldn't lock in place in the in the agenda. Um, on like, let me see if I have one. Um, oh, I don't have one without rings. I would think I would. Sure, I do. 
here we go. Okay, here's one without rings. Um, so as you can see, the LV, this is a multicolored PM without rings in it because I put them somewhere else. As you can see, um, the LV is really easy. It's just two little tabs in here and these just slide in and then you lock in that bottom tab. Um, with the Chanel, as you saw, it had little divots um, and you really had to lock these pieces in place um, and this one did not align. This one that I showed you, I think earlier in the video, that it was um, just shorter and so there was no way for this to click in. So what did I do? Um, what I did was actually take, believe it or not, um, take the entire cover off of this, as you know, and I actually shoved the, I took the rings out entirely, as you saw, you know, with all these tabs and all this stuff, um, took them out entirely. Um, and then what I did was actually use the Chanel backplate so that I could get it back into the Chanel agenda, but I put these rings into it. Um, and so the trick really was put some Vaseline or something, you know, Vaseline works great in here, just a little bit. And then what you're gonna do, basically put the rings, you know, put the rings back, sort of see they're in two pieces and they have these little overlapping, you know, little overlapping teeth kind of things. Um, you're just gonna line them up as best you can. And then you're going to pretty much that. <laughs> you're going to pretty much, um, I don't have the Vaseline right now in there. So this is just for example, but you're going to pretty much slide these guys in all the way in. And then once they're inside, you're going to reattach these babies on either side. And then you're going to put the back plate and that just clips right on. So you're going to open it up and uh, clip that back on. Um, once it's in. Now, one thing I might suggest is you, in the Chanel agenda, put this, put the back plate in first because it's so hard to line it up without being able to see what you're doing. Put that in first and then shove the rings in once it's in the agenda and then put everything else back together. Um, that's what worked for me. So I don't know if that's helpful to anybody. Um, if you um, have any questions, feel free to ask me. Um, I am LV Rainbow Love on Instagram and also on, um, I have a Facebook group with the same name. But here's the end result, which is very, very exciting. Um, you cannot see it very well. There we go. Um, and as you can see, it's packed pretty full. It's got um, an entire, uh, pretty much an entire year in here and then some filofax so there's just your basic filofax um, stuff i also have an entire um 12 months of these month ones in here plus um weeks etc and then um, i have um i hope this helps somebody who is thinking about replacing their rings in a chanel pocket agenda um in hindsight, I don't I don't know if I would do it over again only because the Chanel rings were actually pretty decent size, honestly. Um I did get a little bit of extra with the um with the Gilio, but probably not more than a couple of millimeters. So I don't know. Um it's up to you. It was a little scary, um, but it worked out and um i did have to mess with the rings quite a bit because it was really hard to pull the gilios apart oh that was the other thing i forgot to mention um the way that i pulled apart the chanel ones that you saw earlier where you take this off and then you just kind of pull the gilios actually have a little tab in here this little i don't know if you can see that that's zooming see these little insert in like inlet things right here they make it very difficult to pull um, the rings out. So I actually had to kind of use this to pry the rings out a little bit before I pull them apart because what I ended up doing was pulling them apart 
and then ended up bending a bunch of them and had to bend them back, which was painful and a huge pain in the butt. It's doable and you can get them back together if you, you know, if you bend them out, so don't panic. But, um, but keep in mind that while the Chanel ones popped right open like they're supposed to, I don't know if these are like newer Gilio rings or what, but these little indents keep them from popping out as easily. Um, so, you know, there may be a possibility you could even slide them out, but I, I didn't try that. But um, popping them out was tough. So I would pop these out here on either side as much as you can before you try to just snap them open. So that's it. I hope this is helpful and uh, send me any questions you have. Bye.